Welcome to Special Times with, with Peter Filosa. Today we are going to talk with, with Paul. Paul has worked with, with me at my Vint Vint group home in Rosendale since I moved to the home to the home several years ago. Paul is originally from Cameroon in West Africa. Hi, Peter. Thank you for having me on your show. And uh, thank you for the introduction. Paul, um, how long have you worked at Vinfin with special needs adults? Five years, Peter. Five years now. What attracted you to this job and what keeps you working there? Thank you for the question, Peter. I was attracted by, my, by, by the needs of friends that I could work with and my own needs. Um, I always work where the eyes of my heart will be open. So I was especially attracted to the vocation of be, of having friends, good friends with whom I could work and have a very cordial working relationship. What other types of jobs have you done in in the United States. Wow, where do I start from? <laughs> uh, you will be surprised. Uh, when I came into the United States uh, in January uh, 2017, the first job I, I did was to work at 7-Eleven while I was preparing for the MTEL. The MTEL is the Massachusetts test of educators license, uh, which I had, and then I moved on to teach uh, French at Brookline High School. And I also became a, a freshman boys soccer team, team coach. Again, I'm a translator and interpreter with Interpreters and Translators Incorporated. I do Uber and Lyft from time to time, as part time. And then I'm also, uh, studying for a PhD, uh, I take a few undergrad courses from time to time. What inspired you to leave Cameroon to come to the United States? And when did you come here? Uh, as I rightly said before, I moved here in January 2017. And uh, I left my country because I needed greener pasture i was looking for greener pasture and uh there was a civil war in my country and the atmosphere wasn't very conducive for me and so i needed to move over to the united states uh to have a very very calm and uh, busy life did you pursue education in the u.s yes and no uh i started a phd program uh in 2017 which was suspended indefinitely and uh, right now i hope to resume so i started pursuing my phd uh in the united states and it's still ongoing although it's, it's indefinitely suspended how many how many languages do, do you speak i speak five languages peter uh Two are uh, international languages, English and French, and that's what I am translator and interpreter in. Then Cameroon has more than 280 languages, uh, of which I speak four. One is my mother's mother tongue or language. The other one is my father's. The other one is where I did my college education, and the other one is where I worked. So four national languages, two international languages, and one regional or sub-regional language. Is soccer your favorite sport? Wow, you can ask that question again because I grew up with soccer. I remember falling in love with soccer when I was five. I used to play around the neighborhood with the kids. Sometimes we played, we ran around barefooted. And then I grew up to love soccer. I played the summer championship for the U. 10, 11, 12, and then from there I went um, semi-professional, semi played second division, I played soccer at college, and right now I'm still uh, 
playing the soccer for adults in the United States and uh, coaching. I'm also a youth soccer development uh, technical director for uh, my region or my state back in Cameroon. So it's popular back there, I, I take it. It's the king's port. What do you like best about Cameroon? The food, Peter, the food. And uh, the, the, there's what we call African solidarity, communal life, communal, communal life. I love the friends, the, the way I grew up. I love the culture. I love the Cameroonian culture, which inspires respect for elders. It inspires hard work. Uh, there are difficult times, but when you go, when I go back to Cameroon, I feel at home because I have a lot to do there, especially even the soccer. The soccer game is my favorite. What What do you like best about about the United States? The transfer of technology. I love the technology that I see in the United States. Software, technology, uh, road infrastructure health facilities, the school systems, and you name the rest, social welfare, or we'll call it social security. I love all of that. And uh, it is my wish to enjoy that and also look for ways uh, for people back in my country to have to catch a glimpse of that. What are the biggest needs in Cameroon and how can people in the US help? Thank you for that question, Peter. The people of Cameroon need sustainable social entrepreneurship. Uh, there's a lot of poverty in the communities. And so the people in Cameroon lack the necessary technology to develop the education, the agriculture, the, the environmental and infrastructural uh sectors of the country so um you ask what can be done for that to change i hope to work with many american friends uh with whom we already uh founded uh, a 501 c3 nonprofit organization and we are conceiving projects and networking and see to see how we could help uh, give back to the African community and help uplift or alleviate poverty. Do you have any questions for me, Paul? Yes, Peter. Thank you for giving me the chance to ask you a few questions. How do you feel at your home in Rosinda? Um, it's not where I want to be forever in terms of a forever home. I want I want to be with people that are like I want to live closer to home someday again, closer to my niece, my baby niece, and um, my my family and my sister and and all my family back here in Midfield. So I want to be closer to home someday. That is that is a, a dream of mine. Yes. Beautiful, and I hope you're working towards that. I have a second question. What sports? You asked me questions about my education and sports. So can you tell me something about your education background also? I went, I went to the lab, the lab program at Lexington High School in Lexington, Massachusetts. And oh, yeah. uh, I, I did a special, uh, I did special education education classes beautiful i noticed that you also love sports and politics let's start with politics uh what's what what's your take what's your how what are your political activities coming up soon i'm gonna be um campaigning for a former attorney general named mari healy she's gonna be running for governor of massachusetts and I'm going to be campaigning for her by holding signs. And I'll be running as a special uh, delegate to go to the state conference in June in mm. Worcester, Massachusetts at the DCU Center. Beautiful. I remember we visited uh, the, the newest mayor in, 
in, in Boston, Michelle, who yeah. I, I, I want to say thank you for taking me to see Michelle who and I guess we were lo the lucky charms for her to win as a mayor of Boston. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We enjoyed that day. Again, what sports do you play? I did hockey for a special needs adult team called the East Coast Jumbos. I did that for seven and a half years. Wow. I've done, um, I played ice hockey and for, for the Jumbos. I was a right winger. Mm -hmm. um, I did Special Olympics basketball for uh, like 16 years for, for Belmont Sports and the Newton, uh, the Newton Celtics for Special Olympics basketball. I've done track. I've done swimming. I've done um, volleyball. I've done uh, figure skating. Uh, my mom is my coach for figure skating. You are the rock star there, my friend. You are the rock star. And I'm also, I've also met you within the circles of, of self-advocacy. And I just saw how you, you advocate for yourself and other people, which is so wonderful. Uh, again, I don't even know if you have any further questions for me. Um, the uh, the state conference for self advocacy is actually on this coming Saturday, this coming Saturday on Zoom. Uh, they'll be doing. Okay, I wish you all the best there. Do you have any further questions for me, Peter? Um, yeah, what are the biggest agent, the best agencies helping people in Cameroon? We have uh, a department in charge of the protection of the family and the, ch the child. And uh, they help identify children without shelter and they place them in uh, shelter homes uh, under the Ministry of social affairs also. So those two uh, departments work hand in hand to make sure that uh, underprivileged and vulnerable children are taken good care of. Uh, we are still working on developing such facilities to resemble what uh, we see in the United States. So uh, many of us try to open even orphanages in order to place most of those children there. We also have a facility for the elderly. Uh, they have uh, adult literacy programs back in the country through the churches and some selected schools in the country. Those are some of the facilities we have. And then we also have special uh, education schools for kids who need special education. I want to say happy Valentine's Day to you, Paul, my friend. Thank you so much, Peter, my best friend forever. And I want to thank, I want to thank Paul for talking with me on special times, and wish him good luck in in in, in his efforts in Cameroon. Thank you very much, Peter. I also wish you the best, and I hope to continue to work with you, uh, for us to have better days ahead of us. Thank you so much for having me on your show. I count You're myself welcome. privileged as uh, an expatriate from Cameroon. And I hope that we have better days ahead. I hope to see you sometime this week. Thank you, Peter. Hopefully Thursday. Stay tuned for the next uh, episode of Special Times with Pierre Forosa. Mm -hmm.